Hello, good morning. My name is Stefan. Uh, I um, run Drupal Somerset, uh, the Drupal user group in uh, southwest of UK. And this morning I'm talking to Patrick um, from the Kampa Bits in Uganda. They've started using, they've evaluated, they've been evaluating different um, CMS systems and they are now, I believe, quite extensively using Drupal, which is great. And um, we're just going to talk a little bit <coughs> about that with Patrick. Hello, Patrick. Hello, Stefan. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, <coughs> yeah, we've been in touch before, and I came across your organization a little while ago, and I'm very intrigued to learn more about what Kampa Bits is and um, what you all do. So if you could, yeah, can you share a little bit about the work that you do there, please? Yeah, thank you so much, Stefan. <laughs> well, Kampa Bits is uh, uh, an NGO in Uganda, mm -hmm. it's called in uh, Early along Kampa Bits, the brief, let me give you a brief background about Kampa Bits. Kampa Bits was founded by uh, some Dutch ladies, basically. It was, it was, the concept they came with was called the Bits, so they wanted to create Bits schools to be helping vulnerable people and some children from slums in Africa hmm. to give them some basic IT skills like to improve their lives. So it started in Nairobi where in, in, in Nairobi where there was made uh, Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was back in 2001, 2000, yeah. And later on, they gave birth to Kampa Beats, that was 2010. Yes, and I was first, I was in the first team to study from Kampa Beats, so we are the pioneers. Hmm. Yes. Then, after we had some other students that went to the Kampa Beats, so whereby we go into slums around Kampala, we get those youths that are interested, have interest in IT, so we bring them to Kampa Beats, and we start training them for one year. So basically, we teach them starting from using a computer how to click. Okay. <laughs> yes, opening folders. So we teach them how to design using Adobe softwares, mm -hmm. and then we teach them web designing using Notepad, how to program HTML and CSS. Yes. But then after, as the concept went on, we adopted the use of CMSs. Mm -hmm. Where we started by using Joomla. And later we went to WordPress. That was in 2011. Mm -hmm. Then after, we ventured into Drupal, and we went. I was among the first people who ventured into Drupal, and we went to much in Drupal and we found that people could solve all the problems that we used to find in other CMSs. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so we decided to strictly use Drupal, and we specialized in the use of Drupal till today. So now I'm there, I'm back. So after Kampa Beats, I went and I worked somewhere for some for two years. I also worked in a NTV Uganda, it's a TV station. I was the graphics designer there. Then later on, I applied to come back to Kampa Beats and I be a trainer. Mm, okay. Yes. So. You're, br you're breaking up a little bit. So I came back and I'm a trainer. So that's how we do. We, that's how we started in camp a bit, and still today we are working with the youths, teaching them how to use Drupal and web design. So we are having, we're expecting another graduation of the youths on in June, in June this year. That will be thirteen. Yes, for the graduates and they're going to be using Drupal and they go back to their other societies, yeah, to teach Drupal. Hmm. How, um, what um, age range are you um, are you working with? What the, the, what time, yeah, how old are the, the, or how young are the young people that come to you? Yes, okay, we'll, we have a range, a age range of 18 years to 25. 18 to 25, so, okay. Yeah, that's the age. Okay. Thanks. So after, when we get them, we take the, we take them through an orientation, and then we teach them for basically one year. Hmm? One year. So have, okay. Yes, one year. So we have our intakes that 
our intakes they usually start in July and then we end in July next year. So for example, these ones we got them last year in July and then we are going to graduate in in June this year, that will be 13. Uh, when we break off for some few weeks and we get a new intake in July mm -hmm. till next year. Yeah, that's all. Okay. And how many how many people um, are going through mm -hmm. your program? How many young people? Is it per, um, per year, for example? Per year. For example, we have a value of 40 people we work with. Mm -hmm. We work with, we work with the administration of Kampa Beach in Kampala. Then after, we work with also CBOs out there. So CBOs, after they take them through their Drupal sites, and then they send them. So basically, we are working. We are working with 40 people mm -hmm. in contact, but we also have another other people that we work with when they go back to their societies. Mm -hmm. So there we don't track really the number of people they work with, but they are basically a lot, I would say. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, just coming back to the work that you do with Drupal then, do you, do you train people uh, or educate um, people to become Drupal developers or are you, what kind of aspects of Drupal are you training people on? So is it front end, back end or anything? Yes, so we train, basically we train Drupal, we train the youth, first and foremost we train them how to use Drupal. Okay. Yes, and we tell them, we make them know the power of Drupal. Mm -hmm. And after, at a later stage when they have known how to use Drupal, we have to we train them, we work with them, in fact, to how to develop for Drupal. So, right now, I'm still getting that team. It's not so big, the team for developing for Drupal. It's oh, okay. Yeah. So, I'm just nurturing more people to come in, but I'm just starting with just training them how to use Drupal. Hmm. Okay. And do you have you um, had any interest? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Yes. Excellent. I was. Um, I don't know if if you could hear that or they asked, but have you had any interest, or are you working with um, companies? In Uganda, mm. um, specifically mm. in relationship to the on to Drupal, that you have, I mean, that you train young people up to use Drupal and become Drupal developers, and that they can also find mm. work somewhere in Uganda, uh, which is Drupal related. Have you had any response from companies? Yes. Okay. Basically, we have there is a company in Uganda that uses Drupal, but it's also developing websites mm -hmm. using the Drupal platform, right? Okay. Yes. But, basically in Kampala, you know people are mostly using Joomla. Right, right? okay. Yes. So, in this way, our concept as Kampala Bit is that we want to get youth, we, have, we want to create a generation of people using Drupal so that we can create websites on Drupal and still to develop for Drupal. Mm. So right now we are working on uh, having a Drupal community in Kampala. So you're working on a community? Yes. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Right now we are building a community in Kampala for Drupal. Ah, I see. Okay. That's great. Yeah. So that's how it is now. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, I, I really hope that um, that will work out for you because um, yeah. uh, with with Drupal, I mean, there are quite a few events happening. So you have, um, I mean, you have user groups, uh, which you kind of are, and then you have um, camps, which are usually a weekend where people can come yes. together and um, and work on Drupal and learn from each other. And then you have obviously a big conference, which happens twice um, twice a year. But yeah, if you're if you're building a community there, um, it would be great if you if you ever um, organize a camp. <laughs> um, I would well, love yeah. I would love to be there. <laughs> yeah, it's all coming because yeah, the community is building. Yeah, it's building rapidly. Yeah, great. <laughs> so it's nearby time. It's all coming. Yeah. Oh right, great. Yeah, that would be really really good. But you see, like on the images I post on Twitter. Yes. 
we basically have a people challenge how far we, we, we go into our different societies of couple bits mm -hmm. and we test, we test them how far they have gone with people. What new thing they have created, what can they add in? Mm. Get mm. in our so basically, in a way, we are challenging people are really researching too much. And we, so with that, it's going to be that we are going to also have like a camp, like the way you said it, of all Drupal users coming up, we share, and we talk about how the future will be. Mm. Okay. Yes. Excellent. That's great. All right. Hey. Any question? Um, well, I'm, I'm just really, uh, really um, um, interested and really impressed by how, I mean, you're using different other pieces of software as well, which is obviously great, uh, but I'm, I'm really, um, well, impressed by how, how you've adopted, um, well, Drupal as an open source framework and they're actually actively using it. And hopefully yeah. you will be able to find work placements for well, for the young people that go through your program, which is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Well done. <laughs> yes, but in one way, we also like it in a way that if we can create something like a hub. Yes. Yes, and we have them around, and maybe we can outsource for work. We do it in our Drupal community hub, mm. and then it will be. I think that would be the best way, because mm. you like never know if someone. Like they have been working with us, we are using Drupal, they go to a company and the company basically they would say like when they get jobs of Joomla of Joomla of Joomla of Joomla, right? Mm -hmm. They may find a way that this person is struggling too much to learn Joomla and is rushing away from our Drupal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, great. To be far, it would be working for us when we have some when we have a hub. And just outsource for jobs, you work them in Drupal. Hmm. Yeah, that's all. Great. In terms of um, the um, uh, young people, do you what? How would you say the um, the level of um, young women uh, interested in technology is that? Uh, are there quite a few young? Young women interested or going through your programs, or is it mostly mostly men that do the program, or is it a nice mix? Oh, it's always a nice mix, but most of the years we have been having, we have been having more women than men. More women than men, okay. Yeah, we have been having because remember we have a at the station we have a total of forty students, yes. the young men, but we have been always having like twenty seven when they are all ladies. Mm -hmm. And only that, the, the challenge we've been having, they have been also too much specializing into design, you see? Ah, okay. And we have been having a few, a few developers. But since when we started using CMS, mm -hmm. they also came in and they started in what? Ah, Getting okay. Interest. Mm -hmm. So, right now... Hello? Hello? You can hear me, yes? Yes, I can hear you okay. fine, yeah. So right now, it's pretty good that we're having a Drupal community that is having, at the moment, that is having 15 who are all ladies. Mm, okay. Yes. And they are so interested in the configuration part. They go to the back end, configure. Wow, it's nice. They are so technical. Ah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> That's really good. Thank you. So, I think that they are so good. Great. Yes. Yeah, I, I asked that because um, here in the UK, sometimes I hear that um, yeah, people would love to see more women or ladies in tech or in programming. Um, yes, but, I yeah, by the sounds I of the <laughs> yeah, but by the sounds of it, I mean where, where you are, it's um, it's kind of the other way around. <laughs> yeah, which is great, which is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. But here, you know, like as the IT, the IT, the IT is growing in Kampala today. Mm -hmm. in most cases, we have having more women coming in. Yes, you see, women are coming in. Not only they do easy things, but they are coming into the hard thing. They are also having programmers mm -hmm. who are so ladies. So I think for Kampala and Kampala bits, 
yes, we have a lot of support in ABC. Yeah. Okay. Great. Fantastic. All right. They are so, uh, yeah, they are so determined. <laughs> well, that's, that's good. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I think I think that's it, um, Patrick. Um, I would like to thank you very very much for taking the time to, um, wow. to speak to us. And I find it extremely interesting to hear and learn about what Campo Bits is, what do they do. And yeah. um, I would say, yeah, keep up the good work, and especially with Drupal. And who knows, there might be a uh, Drupal event sometime in Uganda. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> They're all coming in. They're all coming probably next year. We are, we are planning for that. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Fantastic. That team will be so big. Yeah, they are all coming. Yeah, okay, great. Yes, thank you so much, Stefan. You're more than welcome, and then we'll um, we'll be in touch. Wow. All right. Thank you, Patrick. Yep. Have a nice day. <laughs> Bye. Okay.